Mr. President, the worst and most pervasive form of Islamophobia now rules India. The hate-filled Hinduvta ideology propagated by the fascist RSS BJP regime has unleashed a reign of fear and violence against India's 200 million Muslim strong community. Mob lynching by cow vigilantes, frequent pogroms such as the one in New Delhi last year, discriminatory citizenship laws to purge India of Muslims, and a campaign to destroy mosques across India and obliterate its Muslim heritage and history are all part of this criminal enterprise. New Delhi has also embarked on what it ominously calls the final solution for Jammu and Kashmir dispute. It has undertaken a series of illegal and unilateral measures in occupied Jammu and Kashmir since 5th August 2019. It has unleashed a reign of terror by an occupation force of 900,000. It has jailed senior Kashmiri leadership, imposed a, a clampdown on media and internet, violently suppressed peaceful protest, abducted 13,000 young Kashmiris and tortured hundreds of them. It has extrajudicially killed hundreds of innocent Kashmiris in fake encounters and imposed collective punishments by destroying entire neighborhoods and villages. We had unveiled a detailed dossier on gross and systematic violations of human rights by the Indian security forces in occupied Jammu and Kashmir. This repression is accompanied by illegal efforts to change the demographic structure of the occupied territory and transform it from a Muslim majority into a Muslim minority. Indian actions violate the resolutions of the United Nations Security Council on Jammu and Kashmir. They clearly prescribe, the resolutions clearly prescribe that the final disposition of the disputed territory should be decided by its people through a free and impartial plebiscite held under the UN auspices. India's action in occupied Jammu and Kashmir also violate international human rights and humanitarian laws, including the Fourth Geneva Convention, and amount to war crimes and crimes against humanity. It is unfortunate, very unfortunate, that the world's approach to violations of human rights lack even-handedness, and even are selective Geopolitical considerations or corporate interests, commercial interests, often compel major powers to overlook the transgressions of their affiliated countries. Such double standards, and the most glaring in case of India, where this RSS BJP regime is being allowed to get away with human rights abuses with complete immunity. The most recent example of Indian barbarity was the forcible snatching of the mortal remains of the great Kashmiri leader, Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani, from his family, denying him a proper Islamic funeral and burial in accordance with his wishes and the Muslim tradition. Devoid of any legal or moral sanction, this action has been against the basic norms of human decency. I call on this General Assembly to demand that Sayyid Gilani's mortal remains be allowed to be buried in the Cemetery of Martyrs with the appropriate Islamic rites.